So I wanted to do a walkthrough of our Thunderjet 21 foot uh, Chinook OS. Just got it uh, this spring here and uh, finally got all the rigging done and uh, just thought I'd uh, finish it off with a bit of a uh, walk around walkthrough video, I guess, of uh, all that we did to it and uh, how we got it and changes I did. Um, start with uh, the exterior here. Um, it's a three-quarter hard top, a little bit different than the half hard top, so I wasn't, uh, I just didn't like the way the uh, half hard tops actually uh, worked with the area right in front of, uh, right in that area, I guess, there is cut out on the half hard top, and then the uh, vinyl would go around, or the fabric would go around, and uh, when you travel, it just kind of pushed down, so we like the look of uh, the three-quarter hard top better, and when you go from this view, it looks like a full hard top. We also added the Vista windows. They're real nice, letting a bit more light. And uh, you can see outside real nice when you're in there. Uh, trailer, we added a um, I-beam aluminum. Had this on the previous boat that we had, so uh, I really liked it. So we just uh, upgraded one with a bit heavier trailer than previously. Uh, I also had in the old boat, I had a, a Drota latch. This was the actual latch I had on it. Had to make a few modifications for the Thunderjet to work, but uh, it's hands down awesome. I uh, The other day was the first day it uh, had it up and going and uh, it just worked fantastic. Um, so I had to do some modifications here to a different uh, bow eye system, but uh, it worked really well. Also have a uh, secondary uh, pull down uh, boat latch or boat something or other. Um, tie down strap works well, just keeps the front end planted. Uh, motor guide XI5, 72 inch. We only really use it now for swimming when we go swimming, so like anchor lock and whatnot. Um, so it works really well. Uh, Lorance point one up here on the uh, top, and then we'll go to the back. I added. Uh, Boat buckle, that was the name of the front one. This is a cargo buckle, even heavier than the boat buckle went the front. I made custom brackets for it to uh, tie down straps there. Um, back door, if you're going to be ordering a Thunderjet, highly recommend going with the, uh, the back door. It's uh, expensive, but works A1. I uh, just wanted to say Gordon Bay Marine up here in Ontario on the Muskokas. Awesome dealership, Steve Dow, A1. Uh, salesman there just knows the stuff and uh, helped me through uh, the whole process of us ordering it. Uh, Mercury 250 Pro XS. I put a 8-inch uh, Atlas jack blade on it. I just want the uh, up and down versatility of it, getting into some shallower water, and uh, also to uh, space the motor back so I could uh, get good views on the 3-in-1 uh, Lowrance transducer there. It's one of my Rytec... Uh, marine transducer mounts for jack plate. Uh, we went 12 inch trim tabs. Um, that there is a fish off transducer and then the other one beside it's an Airmar 165. And just want to say about the trim tabs, if you're going to be ordering one of these boats, you're in rough water, get it with trim tabs. Uh, bigger the better. I did not order them from the factory. I chose to add them on myself. I went with a 12 by 12 and in rough water it keeps the bow planted um i've been amazed we've been out in really rough water three times now and it's just a one um anywhere from 20 to 30 miles an hour and it's not pounding um don't even have the uh suspension seats in the boat on my wife's side and she doesn't see a need for it um doesn't pound nearly as hard as our previous Lund was, so we're really happy with it. Uh, walk around to the other side. Put the uh, Evinrude uh, 15HO kicker on it. Uh, for those of you that have seen my other videos, you know that I ordered it without the actual bracketry, and I've ordered and I've made uh, extra supports into it. So I did all the kicker mount, and then I added the uh, tubing and structure there. This side here, we got the trim tab again, the Lanco trim tabs, and then a big Airmar SS175HW. That's a through-haul transducer that is not actually through-haul. It's actually welded. It's a continuation of the bottom of the boat, 
and water goes along and you get high speed readings and everything without actually having a hole in the bottom of your boat. Uh, this side here, I mounted the antenna right to this. Works really well, folds down and uh, it just sits right there. I liked it. On that side, you can get at it from the cab when you're up there. And I'll quick jump up. So back of the boat, get the drop curtain here on this one. I really like it, you can take it off. We've had it on and off many times, different days, even a hot day, sometimes we've had it on. Um, get the back open right now to uh, turn my power on. Put a uh, main power disconnect in there. Turn that on. Uh, I added, coming from my Lund, the Lund had the uh, sport track all around that, like an accessory track. And at Rytec Marina, make accessory uh, planer board pouches and tool caddies. A couple different ones here. So I actually made track and bolted it all on. So it's an auxiliary track. I put it down on the bottom here and at the top. It works really, really well. And uh, you can put rod holders on these. Works good. Um, live well. Love the live well on the Thunder Jet. It's absolutely huge on this one. Those are four foot tall rod trees. They fit in there perfectly for storage. I run uh, Scotty Downriggers. So I actually uh, wired in the actual plug right there. Also ordered the boat without uh, stereo system. I uh, didn't want what the factory offering was. I wanted to be able to be NEMA compatible and whatnot. So uh, I uh, went on my own and put that all in. I'll show you the radio here in a minute. Uh, big storage on the bottom here. It's huge storage there. I don't have anything really in that one, but uh, that's a big storage uh, area. Go inside the cab here, but first I'll show you. Um, on the back wall here, I mounted uh, nine inch Lawrence HDS Fishhawk and the iTroll. Um, from this graph, I can control everything that you can at the front, back here at the back. So without going in, bugging anyone that's in here, if my kids are in the cab area or my wife, I don't have to go up to the front, control autopilot, the whole nine yards. Works really good. Um, Thunderjet, loads of storage. These benches are huge. I think we got about nine life jackets in there. I put all my tackle boxes in behind the seats. Tons of room there. This one here on this side, I got bumpers in there. I got a lawn chair, um, all my rod holders, tons of stuff. Up here in the cockpit, had the Fel Marine Man Overboard. Um, Touch troll RPM switch and tack for the kicker. And then uh, these here two switches are um, to switch on the factory fuse panel and the auxiliary fuse panel. I wired in an, auxil an auxiliary um, 31 series deep cycle for all my graphs. So I'll just uh, show you this. I went with uh, two 12 inch, or sorry. I went with a uh, nine inch HDS live and a 12 inch side by side. I originally wanted to go with uh, two 12s, but because of the way the window curved, it just wouldn't work. I want it nice and straight across the front. And uh, this is what I came up with. So I actually made my own uh, gimbal mounts. See right tech right in there, big gimbal mounts. Both of them are custom. Took quite a bit of work to figure that all out. But uh, when you look at it, straight down along the front everything's even and uh just gonna so right along the side here and then this side here everything's all right in place uh link nine or link eight 
Lorentz radio I got mounted down in under the dash. Works really nice. Sunlight, you don't need sun glare or anything like that. You can see it perfectly. Um, starter switch, Lenko trim tabs. That's full automatic, controls everything. Next gauge up here is for the jack plate. And for the jack plate, I get a blinker style switch for the jack plate. Um, on the dash, this year was a cigarette lighter, or kind of a USB style port charger. Um, I pulled that one out and this is a blue C, it shows the voltage. And then uh, it has a dual USB port there. And uh, that's nice, so you can see what the voltage is at. I didn't uh, charge everything back up since uh, we went the other day, so I got to do that. Uh, wet sounds stereo system, uh, full NEMA controlled, so I can actually go into my graph um, right here and control all that. Sorry if you hear a flock of geese, it's getting to be fall and they're flying like crazy here already. So, um, so I got the graphs. Um, these two switches, like I say, control everything. This here's the Merck Vessel View gauge. And uh, I'll just show you here that transducer from the other day. Let's go into files, screenshots, and I'll show you a pretty cool shot from the other day that I saved. There we go. Oh, that's not the one. So this here was on uh, Friday afternoon. We were out. Um, we're going almost 40 miles an hour, 344 feet of water, and marking fish with that air mar. Um, if you look close, you can actually see little individual arches yet. So um, pretty crazy. Great. Uh, absolutely awesome. Uh, also, fuel tank is upgraded this year it was a 72 gallon 72 or 75 i forget so it's got a big tank in it uh storage wise it didn't come with this uh cushion we had that cushion made up i've got my batteries in underneath it works nice to put the uh, trolling motor batteries in there i also run autopilot on this boat that's what this red switch here is for um Lawrence autopilot it is phenomenal. I will never go back to steering with the trolling motor and pushing with a kicker of the main motor. The autopilot is just phenomenal um, how uh, well it's been running. It's uh, just great at trolling and, you know, at higher cruising speeds and all that stuff, it's been A1. Uh, major thing that uh, Thunderjet came out with this year was built-in rod locker. So I was pretty pumped about this coming from a Lund that had built-in rod storage. Um, this can take a nine foot six trolling rod and I've got 10 in there plus a couple doubled up. So there's probably 12 rods in there plus some casting rods. Um, at least 10 trolling rods and two casting rods are in there right now. So absolutely huge. Um, one thing I really like about Thunderjet is the detail of everything. Um, whether it's the seats and the stitching um, everything's just A1. You have a Thunderbolt put into there. Um, welds are phenomenal. Um, you know, painted welds that a lot of other companies would um, bondo and paint over are just absolutely awesome everywhere. The welds are just phenomenal. Um, anywhere on the boat. It's just uh, super, super, super impressive. They're just absolutely everywhere is a one and coming uh from someone that does welding it's beyond impressive everywhere in the boat and it's just absolutely amazing um love it um nighttime light goes up the uh also has the uh navigation lights built right into the bow um and i also got docking lights put onto there uh went with wash down as you can see there that's pretty well it so it's uh Super impressive. We've really liked it. And uh, I just thought I'd do a walk around video and uh, I'll uh, save a link and uh, put all the different companies that uh, have been part of this build that I've used and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, 21 foot Chinook OS. Absolutely love it. Just wanted to share. Thanks everyone.